Hello and welcome to another Cantec training video. Today we'll be looking at the Driver Builder application. The application has been included with EntryPass since version 7.00. You'll find the application under the Cantec folder. So go to Program Files x86 Cantec Server and bin. Look for a file called EP Driver Builder. You will need one KT300, KT400, or KT1 with Driver Builder version 1.11 and above. All communicating by USB 45. You cannot use IP communication for this. Make sure your gateway isn't running. You don't have to enter a serial number for communication to start. Select the COM port in the drop-down. As soon as communication starts, you'll get a green check mark. If you don't see a COM port, go to Windows Device Manager and verify the USB 45 installation. Select either a legacy controller or others. Please note that you cannot create a driver with more than 32 bits for a legacy controller and 64 bits for the new generation of controllers. Method 1. Scan to match. You can try to let Driver Builder create the driver for you. What you need to do is to enter the number exactly as it's printed on the card. Click Scan to Match and swipe your card. If Driver Builder can match the number entered and the number of the card, you'll be prompted to save the driver. Method 2. Create manually. When you can't match the card number automatically, click Advanced. You'll see the number of bits seen as well as the raw data from the card. Copy the raw data of the card into Notepad. Now, using the Windows Calculator, we're going to convert the card number into binary. So enter the number of the card and change it to binary. Copy this and paste it into Notepad. Now try to match this number with the raw data we got from the card. And here we go. Next, we need to also match the site code, which is hexadecimal for alpha. So enter it in calculator and change it to binary. Copy it and paste it into Notepad also. Try to find a match in the raw data. Once we have this information, we have to find a way of displaying this. So let's look at some of the HID display formats. The one that most closely resembles the card information we have is the 26-bit Wiegand format standard. It has 8 bits for a site code and 16 bits for a card number. So let's overlay that with what we have. We see our site code on the left and our card number on the right. Now we need to know the position of these bits. So the second positions as we start from the right 
to the 17th position, the 24th to the 31st position. Click on User ID Reading Bit Position. Under bit 0, enter the starting position of the card number, in this case 2, and enter all the different bits until we reach 17, in this case. Now, also enter the positions of the site code. And click OK. Now, under number of Wigan bits to be received, you must enter the same number of bits that was detected earlier. Accept and close. You may now save your driver. Give it a name you'll recognize. Click OK and rename the driver so it's easier to find. The last part is installing the driver in EntrePass. So save the driver either in the 9000 folder for legacy controllers or KT400 for 400 and KT1s. Go to Devices and Controllers. Select your controller. Click on the plus sign on the right of the controller and go select your driver. Save and make sure that your display format are OK. So select how to display your number and your global card format of 24 or 32 bit depending on your card. You're now ready to test your card. If your driver worked correctly, you should see your card number appear. Hope you enjoyed the video.